What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Just Chris, and I'm just me. But anyway, I just got off of work, you know what I'm saying? But I just had to make this video because it's just been on my mind, and I just feel like the world needs to know about it. Y'all need to know about it. Um, So pretty much, I did No Nut November this year, and I also did it last year, and I passed with flying colors, you know what I'm saying? It was hard, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you've been masturbating or, you know, busted nuts since you were a little kid like 12 some people even like nine years old me i started when i was 14 and it's it's been hard you know i wouldn't say that i'm an like addicted to it or anything like that but no nut november really changed my um outlook on like busting nuts and masturbation because honestly when you when you, it's not it's it's not just about oh releasing that sexual energy it's more of like keeping that energy and putting and applying it to, to different stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like ever since like I finished No Nut November, I've been practicing semen retention, which is semen retention is when you withheld all your sexual energy. So not only do you not um, bust a nut, like that, like you don't bust a nut, like you don't bust a nut during sex. You just don't, you just don't bust. So like some people can have sex and stuff like that, and not bust. I've been practicing that and ever since that like I've just felt better my skin's getting clear you know what I'm saying I used to have acne on this side I still got a little bit but you know what I'm saying it's my face is clear I got more energy and I just feel more motivated to chase my dreams and chase my purpose and I feel like every man should do no nut November you know no uh no nut December you know you know you know what I'm saying I feel like a man should go 30 days semen retention and not nothing because i feel like every man needs to go through that and see how it makes them feel you know what i'm saying because i'm not saying that semen retention is for everybody because not everybody can do it you know what i'm saying not everybody has a mindset like me to know how to to be disciplined and not and not do that because once you hold in that sexual energy you can do so much shit because a lot of people are manipulated by their own sexual urges which will cause them to simp uh, go on Pornhub and jack off or uh, buy a girl's OnlyFans or cash up a girl, you know, just to get her validation or get her to like you. Like, No Nut November in semen retention is so much bigger than people think it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, people just say, oh, like, you know, I'm just, I'm just jacking off. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, it is. Like, like the way it has changed my life is just so crazy that I don't even want to go back to it. Like, I remember I I I just I I just got I, I was done. Like I was just like I'm done with this. I'm done jacking off. I'm done masturbating, bro. Like I'm done. And I just I didn't I didn't feel it no more. It just it doesn't it didn't feel right to me. You know what I'm saying? And when something doesn't feel right in your gut, you should definitely not do it. But like, I just feel like every man should do semen retention at least one time in his life, or like do it every now and then just to see how it makes them feel and see like, is this something, is jacking off something I need to do? Is this really necessary? Or is this something that's um, that's pulling me back? That's not, that's causing me not to reach my full potential. You know what I'm saying? Because as a man, you should be able to, to control your sexual urges. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be a victim to your own sexual urges. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to control your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Because if you think positive, positive things are gonna happen. You think negative, negative shit's gonna happen. That's just how it is. Same thing with your sexual thoughts. You hold on to that sexual energy and you put it to other things, just just watch how successful you're gonna be. And you chasing your dreams, bro, and you focus on yourself, you let things naturally come to you instead of chasing that girl, instead of instead of uh chasing people to like you and shit like that and and, and begging people for to like you, just be you. Just be you. That's all it is at the end of the day. And semen retention can help you do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying semen retention is the key to success. What I'm trying to say is, is that semen retention can really help you figure out what you want out of life. Help really help you grow into the man you're supposed to be. I just turned 21 on Saturday. You know what I'm saying? And, and life is going fast. You know what I'm saying? Don't let life pass you by, bro. Go for your dreams. Chase your dreams. You know what I'm saying? If you like that, go, girl, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Shoot your shot, bro. I'm not saying not to shoot your shot. Well, I'm saying don't chase females, bro. Don't chase nobody. Even you females, don't chase dudes either. Don't chase no nigga. The fuck? Don't chase none of that. 
let that shit come to you naturally. Let it let it come to you. Let things happen. Stop worrying about when you're hanging out with somebody. Stop worrying about if they like you. Just 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 go with it. Just have fun in the now. Think in the now. Stop thinking so much in the future. You know what I'm saying? Be smart, but don't overthink things. And I over I tend to overthink things sometimes too. I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to tell people that seam retention and no nut November is some real shit. You know what I'm saying? This this shit can change your life, bro. This can really just help you just because a lot of men struggle with that, especially controlling their sexual urges. That's why simping is such a big thing nowadays. You know what I'm saying? People are throwing the road, the, the word simp around like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Now, some of y'all are going a little bit too crazy. With it, you know what I'm saying? Talking to a girl is not simping. Okay? It's not. But... I feel like men really need to hear this, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? If you're watching this, share this with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Share this video because I really want to help out my brothers, you know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of y'all out there struggling, bro. And I used to struggle. I used to simp back in the day, too. I used to be a big simp. I used to be a, I used to be a big simp. You know what I'm saying? I, I did some things, but, you know, I learned. That's that's what life is. You got to learn. You live, you learn, you make mistakes. You, you fall on your ass, you get back up. But you know what I'm saying? That's all I wanted to say. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Share this video with a friend. It's been your boy, Just Chris. And I'm just me. I'm out.